Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me, I am B. Uh, this reading is for all signs out there. I will break this reading down into uh, the general energies and then the energies for the elements and then specific love energy for each of the signs. I hope you guys like this format because I, I tend to find it very helpful. So this is kind of the, just the way I do it. Uh, for those of you that are interested in a reading with me, or considering a subscription to my website, please go to the link below. Thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. I'm going through the shuffle right now with the deck. Um, this reading is for the, oh, 111. Look at that. Nice. So this reading is for um, all signs, and it is for the week commencing on the 25th of February up until about the 2nd or the 3rd of March. So please be aware of that. All right. Spirit guides, archangels, guardian angels, ascended masters, please surround us now. Include our higher selves so that we may be able to pull these energies in and make sense of them relative to uh, actionable information for all of my viewers and myself for this upcoming week. Please come through the light of truth and love. Okay, going to cut the deck, guys. Let's see what we've got going on for the upcoming week. Let's see. The first card for us for the upcoming week is the Nine of Wands. The second card for us is the Queen of Pentacles. The third card is the King of Wands. And the fourth card is the Three of Swords. All right, so what do we got going on here, guys? Let's just take a look at this. As it relates to the general energy, somebody is ready to move on from a disappointment. Somebody is ready to move on from a relationship that maybe perhaps in the past did not work. Now, for some of you out there, you are experiencing a different phase regarding someone in a relationship with someone, whether this is work, whether this is family, whether this is love, whatever it is you're experiencing this different type of energy. It's almost like someone's true colors are coming out or your true colors are coming out. This could also be where you are informed by a friend, by a significant other, that someone is has been very hurt in the past, that someone has been very uh, blocked or that they don't want to make another mistake. They don't want to, um, cause any problems they you know they're 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 very cautious about the direction that they're going in their life and when you hear this it may kind of like change your idea about them or it could change your idea about the situation <clears throat> so this could be um you know maybe you thought somebody was a little bit uh arrogant or you thought that somebody was a little bit full of themselves but you realize maybe through a friend or through a family member or through, you know, even a loved one, you realize that this person has been through a lot in their life and they've had to put up barriers and, and find their own strength and their own, you know, maybe being a little bit egocentric sometimes to protect themselves is what I'm hearing here. So that could be going on for some of you out there. Others of you out there are really focusing right now on your money. Your money is of great significance to you. Starting a new endeavor, starting a new approach to something may have something related to uh, cardiac health, cardiac related uh, issues, um, heart health as well. That could certainly be coming up here. There is a third party situation that someone is turning their back on a third party situation. They don't want to be part of it anymore. They are ready to transform themselves, but they're gonna do so carrying the lessons that they've learned from the past. So this could be lessons that you've learned from your work, lessons you've learned from you know, a family member, a friend, whatever it is, an interaction with someone. This could even be a love relationship that you had and you're kind of realizing, okay, well, this is, this is the type of energy I want in my life and what I've experienced in the past, I now know uh, it, it makes it very clear what I want, what I want in my life, what I want, want to be surrounded by, who I want to be surrounded by. 
there could be a significant earth sign or fire sign in your life relative to this week. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo person. This person could be you, but this person could also be providing you this information that you didn't know about in order to move forward into a relationship with someone or into a relationship at work or a partnership of some sort where someone has been hurt, someone has been pained, and, you know, they're just different. They, they don't act like your typical person. They don't, they don't, um, I don't know why I'm getting so far into a love reading here, guys. So please, I do apologize. This is going to be making sense for somebody. But um, this is definitely one of, like, someone got really, really hurt over time maybe over the last three to nine years it's a long time long time okay and it could even be longer than that and they carry that pain with them and they they're working on working through that pain but the thing is is they're very cautious about moving into something too quickly they're very cautious about giving their energy to certain people and for some reason, this earth sign or this fire sign is kind of giving you the 411 on what has been going on with this person because maybe they were a little bit scared about telling you what they were going through or maybe they just felt that it wasn't their place to, you know, tell you about their trials and their tribulations in their life because they didn't know if they could, if you were going to hurt them or not hurt them. You know, this is where... This is where the self-preservation is definitely coming in to this week and this reading. Someone has been self-preserving and, you know, they want to open up. They want to be in this loving and nurturing and fun bond with you or with someone else. But they have been so hurt and they're working through that pain right now. For others of you out there, you are definitely looking at... Um, healing from a situation a physical situation you're actually healing you're coming out of um a a difficult situation where you were not feeling well or you were ill for some of you out there there you know you may have had issues with a sprained ankle um you may have had issues with uh with a you know a, a shoulder that goes out or even headaches migraines bumping your head some of you even heart issues uh, definitely coming up there. Hypertension is what I'm hearing. Pul pulmonary is what I'm hearing. So definitely that particular type of energy is coming out here as well. So let's see what else I'm picking up. Let me see what I'm picking up psychically before we move into the elements. Someone is understanding what freedom really is. Freedom of thought freedom of choice, freedom to do what one wants to do, freedom from that which binds you. This could also be something where you have social groups or friends out there that want you to be just like them and you are diplomatically and kindly standing up for yourself and saying, my thoughts are my thoughts, your thoughts are your thoughts. We may not agree in everything, but we can agree to disagree. So let me see what else I'm getting here. Guys, this is a strange message. Something about a fire hose or a hose, getting hosed, <laughs> um, uh, a garden hose, something like that. I don't know if you're tripping over something possibly, which causes a minor accident but be aware of that as well if there are anything if there's anything in your home in your car or anything like that relative to hoses you may want to go ahead and take that into uh the garage and see if there's something going on with your car something is being uncovered something that was that was hidden, something that was under the dirt, or I don't know what it is. I'm seeing somebody like with their hand, like going over the dirt and like dusting the dirt away. 
like like there's something underneath there that's very valuable and they're being very careful and they're dusting the dirt off of it so that they can get to this valuable thing so there could be something that gets uncovered coming up here in the uh week of february 25th to march 2nd and march 3rd i am now going to get into the beautiful earth signs yeah i don't like spending more than 10 minutes on the general energy but let's see what we've got going on with the beautiful earth signs earth signs what is your additional clarifying or the reason why this energy is here i'm using the sandra ann taylor deck and i'm cutting the deck your first card is patience and your second card is door to value. All right. Now, what I am sensing for some of you earth signs out there is you had to be very patient um, with something relative to work, relative to uh, feeling a little bit defensive about something or somebody was feeling a little bit defensive about you. There is something where you're looking at the clock. You're waiting for seven o'clock is what I'm hearing. I'm waiting for seven o'clock. I'm waiting for seven o'clock and I don't know what that means, but the number seven may mean something to you or seven o'clock here in the upcoming week is gonna be of great significance for some of you earth signs out there. Uh, this could also be something relative to giving birth. Some of you may be giving birth. Not all of you, a very small percentage of you could be giving birth, but there's definitely something about looking at the clock. Seven o'clock. Guys, um, earth signs, uh, I'm getting, I'm getting an energy about seven o'clock and it feels sad. It feels sad. like somebody has to go or someone doesn't show up or something didn't turn out the way you wanted it to turn out or something about seven o'clock like you desire to nurture someone you desire to be with someone you desire to spend time with them you desire you know nurturing and fun and entertaining i heard for some people entertaining um and some of you out there something happens at seven o'clock where it's like you get defensive about something possibly i don't know what this means for some of you out there but it will make sense for some of you now and for others of you here um there is definitely something regarding i'm hearing um an insurance policies of great significance for some of you earth signs out there uh, at the present time for other earth signs out there, there could be something relative to, um, you know, being patient and waiting for your ships to come in is what I am hearing. This could be a physical ship or this could actually be something that you put out there that you're waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for the response. You're waiting for the this um, this information. This could be information relative to an investment. This could be information relative to a job. This could be information relative to some sort of, I almost feel earth signs, like there's a level of aggression and dissension and confusion and defensiveness. But then at the same time, there's like this beautiful, nurturing, loving value type of energy as well. It's almost like there is this really weird dichotomy that you're going to be dealing with. It's almost like, you know, you are, it's almost like you love seafood and you have seafood every day of the week because you love seafood so much, but you're involved with someone who likes, you know, ribeye, you know what I mean? And it's like, and you don't eat meat. So it's it's something going on here where there's just this, this level of needing to find that balance is what I'm hearing. And this really could be in any area, okay? So let's see what we've got going on as it relates. Some of you uh, earth signs are definitely coming into money. 
but I'm hearing insurance policy and I don't know what that means, but it is coming up here. It just really is. But something about seven o'clock. I, I don't know what that means, but let's go ahead and let's take a look at the beautiful Capricorns. What's your love energy Capricorns? You have Virgo. So uh, Capricorns, what I'm sensing here is there's somebody that perhaps you're in love with or someone that you wanted to spend time with or someone that wants to spend time with you, but a Virgo is getting in the way or a Virgo person is causing an issue. Um, this person, maybe you want to move this friendship into a more loving relationship, but this other person is in love with a Virgo or you could be in love with a Virgo. You could also be love, uh, in love with the fact of Virgoan types of energies. So this could be dotting I's, crossing T's, um, being specific, being nitpicky in some way for some of you Capricorns out there. Maybe you're doing something for a loved one and it requires a lot of skill, a lot of exactness. So there's something Capricorn that in this week, Either you or someone you love is really working on the detail for something. They're working on figuring something out. You're working on figuring something out, fixing something. This is definitely what I am picking up here. This could also be something where you're talking to a significant other and they're going back to the gym. There's you know stuff going on with their health. You're talking about health issues with a loved one. Absolutely, uh, definitely coming up here. So please be aware of that as well. Uh, for some of you out there, like I said, Capricorn, you could be interested in a Virgo. A Virgo could be interested in you. Or this Virgo person is causing difficulty in your life for whatever reason. Um, or you could be causing difficulty in a Virgo's life for whatever reason. And Capricorn, this um, this Virgo person could be that person that's giving you the 411, giving you the information that you need in order to move forward with work, love, finances, family, whatever it is. But that energy is definitely around you. And you've waited a long time for this information, Capricorn, but it is coming up here. So what do we have going on for the beautiful Taurians? What's going on with the beautiful Taurians? Taurus, what is your love energy for the week? Love. Oh, Taurus. I love it when you guys get this and you know why. Because I'm a Taurus too. Well, I would like to say that I'm a Taurus too. I mean, you guys know Western astrology, Pisces sun, Pisces moon, Gemini rising, Vedic, astro Vedic astrology, Pisces sun, Aquarius moon, and Taurus rising. Um, so I just love the fact that love is here though. So there was something, uh, Taurus, that you, you just want love, bottom line. You just want love. That is, that is the gist of all of this. You're tired of deceit. You're tired of lies. You're tired of waiting. You're tired of, I mean, and you're a very patient sign, Taurus, extremely patient. Tauruses a lot of times will date somebody for like two or three years before they'll even consider getting married. Not all Tauruses, but a lot of them. They wait a very, very long time because they want to know for sure, for sure that their investment is going to bring that return for them. So, you know, what's going on here is like, you know, you're tired of all of this, like, I need to see that return on my investment. I don't care if it's slow. I don't care if it's if it's maybe not exactly, you know, in alignment with my thoughts, if it's something I can compromise on. I just want to move forward. I don't want to get stuck. You know, and the thing is, Taurus is generally you've got a lot of stubborn energy and you tend to be the one that's just very stubborn and you won't move. But in this particular case, Taurus, I feel like the way that you're being stubborn is you're being stubborn through the perspective of, no, I am not going to settle. I want my movement forward. And if there is no movement forward, I'm out. And this is what I'm getting for a lot of Taurians out there. For other Tauruses out there, again, you do have some money 
something coming in relative to your health. You could be starting a new workout program. You could be starting um, a new gym. You could be um, anything related to health, okay, is definitely coming up here for the lovely Tauruses out there. Um, there is an investment or there is um, an invention that may have to do with health that you're investing in and it's bringing in a lot of money. This was an entrepreneurial venture. This is something that somebody asked you to get involved with. You, you said, okay, well, I'll put 10 grand in or I'll put 20 grand in or something like that. And then all of a sudden, boom, you're making bank because of this. And I am hearing it is related to heart health. This could be related to a new drug. This could be related to a new procedure. This could be related to stints. This could be related to bypass. This could be related to anything. But there is like this energy that there's this money around this situation. But I think it's an invention. I don't necessarily think it's physical pain for some of you. Some of you it may be. Or maybe somebody's going through some heart issues. But I feel it's more about money for some reason. And it's out of a labor of love is what I am getting here. And for others of you out there, you have been really patient with love because you have been hurt. You have been hurt. You have been maimed. You have been physically abused. You've been mentally abused. You've dealt with narcissistic energy in your life. And now you're willing to wait in order to, you know, give your energy and your time to someone who really deserves it. Not just someone who, you know, like love bombs you and then just disappears. Someone who loves you does not show up and disappear, show up and disappear, show up and disappear for no reason. Now, if they're busy or they've got a lot of stuff going on, absolutely, that makes perfect sense. But someone who loves you, just they don't just get up and leave. They just, they just don't. They're, they're there for you. If you call them, they'll pick you up at the airport. If, you, if they called you, you pick them up at the airport. I mean, you, know, you, you, change, your, you change your daily duty just because you love that person, not because you're stubborn and it meets your needs. It's all about the, the give and the take in a relationship is definitely what I'm picking up here. So love is definitely uh, around the Torians for the uh, week coming up here. So what have we got going on with the beautiful Virgos? Virgos, what have you got? Love energy for Virgos. You have secrets. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so Virgos, you've got secrets. Um, Virgos, as it relates to secrets, there could be... A secret that you wanted to uncover for a very long time and it is now finally revealed to you a secret about a person finding out more about this person finding out what they're thinking finding out what they're doing trying to understand where they're coming from trying to understand why they operate the way they operate you have someone in your life Virgos that is a fire sign or even um, a earth sign, an earth sign who is going to give you illumination relative to this person or this situation. All right, that is coming up. For some of you Virgos out there, you have secrets between you and a loved one. Secrets may have caused a breakup between you and a loved one or secrets may have caused this person to break up with you. There was something going on relative to secrets and secrecy, okay? Someone might have been doing something behind somebody's back. Virgos, I'm just going to say it for some of you. There could have been a third-party situation or third-party interference, okay, where you were trying to walk away quietly from something that did not serve you, and it's like they always pop up. They can't let you go. And, and you're just like, seriously, I really want to move away from this energy and focus on myself and focus on this person, this new person in my life. 
But this other person from my past, my ex, my ex-husband, my ex-wife, my ex-ex-ex, keeps coming back and they keep asking for money or they keep telling me, please be patient with me, I'll change. You know what, Virgos, you're kind of over it at this point. You're tired of the secrets, you're tired of the pain, you're tired of the distress, you're ready to move forward. You, you are more than happy to take your time, you're more than happy to be patient with whomever you're dealing with. You just don't want to deal with lies, deceit, pain, and aggression anymore, you're done, all right? So that is definitely what I have coming up here, Virgos, for you for the upcoming week. So please be aware of that. So now we are going to go ahead and we are going to get into the beautiful air signs. Air signs, what do we got going on for you, for your energy, your clarifying energy for this upcoming week? Clarifying energy for the beautiful air signs. All right, air signs, what have we got? Your first card is Seventh Chakra, Archangel Uriel. Looks like she's got a book. A book and blonde hair. <laughs> so what do we have going on for your second energy? The magician in the mirror. All right, so what is this? What I am sensing, uh, for a lot of you air signs out there, you are discovering someone is psychic. You are discovering someone is a master manifester. Now, this could also be you, air sign, but it's definitely coming up. This person that you're discovering this information about may be someone who is very interested in reading books. They like to read books. They're very, very psychic. They're very, very intuitive. They're very, very clairvoyant. They may have long blonde hair. Okay, I'm just saying that because that's what's in the card. I'm just giving you what the card looks like on its surface. There is something here about heavy is the head that wears the crown. So what I'm sensing for some of you air signs out there, there could be someone in your life that you view them as a princess or a queen, or they view you as a princess or a queen or a king or a prince. But that is certainly coming up here as well. This person is looking off into the distance, almost like they're looking through someone. They're looking through a situation they're trying to find their, their tribe. They're trying to find their group of people. They're trying to be more selective in how they utilize their energy. There is definitely something going on here, air signs, where there is a consideration regarding the statement or the phrase, birds of a feather flock together. This is definitely coming up here as well. For some of you air signs out there, you could be having a discussion with an earth sign, with a fire sign, or with whoever this psychic person is, and with blonde hair and who likes books, but um, or has a book club, or has a, who, who's a librarian, I don't know. But um, whoever it is that you're talking to, it's almost like they're going through this weird, this weird, phase and and reevaluation of their group of people that they hang out with and and what they put their energy into that is certainly coming up here a medallion could be of great significance for some of you air signs now this could be um this could be a necklace this could be a brooch um I just heard for some of you air signs, you're getting ready to broach a subject with someone. You're utilizing your intuition to broach this subject. It may be about a divorce. It may be about defensiveness. It may be about money or about entrepreneurial ventures. It may be about the economy, but that is definitely what I am picking up here for a lot of the air signs. So there is something, however, air signs that you are trying to find your balance with and it has something to do with the manifestation bringing two unlikely counterparts together in order to create massive abundance is what i am seeing here this has everything to do with power power and control Finding the sense and the peace 
within the chaos of a situation. Maybe something you don't know, but I feel almost air signs. Something is going to be revealed to you in this uh, upcoming week, probably starting now. It is the 24th, but um, starting the 25th through about the 2nd or the 3rd of March is what I'm getting. So what is going on for the beautiful Aquarians for love? Let's see what's going on here. Aquarians for love. Date night. Beautiful Aquarians. So Aquarians, you are getting together with someone for a date. This could be dinner. This could be um, drinks after work. This could be um, some of you are going to go see a performance. Some of you uh, Aquarians out there, for some reason, I'm getting this and I don't know why Aquarians, you are crying profusely this uh, this week. It may be because maybe you're watching a film or you're watching theater or you're watching something. You could even be going back to the past and reminiscing about the past. But um, this could be something about something is being released. Like there's this block that's been released and all of a sudden you have this awareness and you're, you're crying. And that was a psychic download, guys, because I don't necessarily see this with date night, you know. But um, let's see what else we've got going on here. For some of you Aquarians, you want to go out on a date with uh, someone who is psychic, long blonde hair, could also have short red hair, uh, possibly maybe a darker haired individual as well. Um, I'm not seeing the brunette. I'm, I'm seeing really dark hair, red hair, or really light blonde hair. For the majority of you, it's going to be light blonde hair. But this person, uh, this is someone that you want to see. This is someone you want to be with. This is someone you want to talk to. This is someone who understands you, someone who gets you. Okay, that is definitely coming up. Now, for a small percentage of some Aquarians out there, you ask this person to go out on a date with you and it's kind of like access denied they don't they don't want to go out on a date with you or you find out that they're dating somebody else that could be going on for some of you aquarians out there you know aquarians the thing about this is no matter what situation you're in right now no matter if you're going through pain or you're going through heartache or somebody breaks a date with you or somebody says you know i can't make it tonight don't don't let that get you down because you know stuff happens and and don't read too far into it if it's meant to be it'll be if it's meant to be everything will work out if it's not then it won't you keep manifesting you keep utilizing your own intuition in order to you know bring abundance into your life okay that's what you need to do so what do we have going on for the beautiful Geminis? Geminis, what is your love energy for the Geminis? Libra. All right, Geminis. Um, something is going on with you and a Libran person. That is without a shadow of a doubt. Um, this Libra person might be going through a divorce right now. You might be going through a divorce and going towards a Libran. You know, the thing is, is that we've got this nine of wands and we've got this three of swords that are like bookending each other, basically. And this is all about someone having gone through some serious, serious karma, trouble, trauma in their life. They have really gone through this trouble in their life. It appears that the man is coming out of a divorce or he's getting a divorce and he's just not he's just not interested in dealing with this negative energy anymore but the woman in this dynamic is looking directly at the 9 of wands or she's faced towards the 9 of wands saying I'm willing to give this relationship a shot I'm I'm willing to put myself out there again but I will not be hurt again I cannot be hurt again and this king of wands is looking directly at this queen of pentacles. So this fire sign man is looking directly at this earth sign woman. And this earth sign woman is saying, you can try. 
you can try. I will be kind. I will be loving. I will be nurturing towards you. But I do not put up with tomfoolery and I will not be abused, not mentally, not physically, and not emotionally. And then the man in this situation is like, well, gee, I hope the third time is the charm because I'm not going through this hell in my life either. I'm not going to be with women who cause a bunch of drama in my life. Okay. Now it doesn't have to be woman or male, you know, guys, just, this is just a general reading. It could be a female. It could be a male. It could be, you know, feminine energy, male energy. Just be aware of that. That's definitely, you just want to pick up on the energies is where I'm going with this. But a Libran person for you, Gemini, might be in love with you, might be trying to create something with you, might be trying to, for some of you Gemini people, you have got a psychic connection to a Libran. And you also are indicated in this reading. So you are also the, um, the Gemini within the magician reading. So either you're psychic or they're psychic. They could really, really be big into books or you could be big into books and studying and research and all of that. And so there's something going on here where it's almost like you complete, you complete the, the triad. What does this mean? Okay, Geminis, let me explain here. Higher self or higher selves, twin flames exist together. They've been torn apart, right? So they have this apex of the pyramid. They're up here. They recognize both people because they have the connection. So you have this triad and then you've got the triangle down here. And on one side, you've got the Gemini. And on the other side, you've got the Libran person. And that's what I'm picking up. It's like you guys are combined. You guys are, are, you're climbing the apex. You're, you're traversing up into the higher realms. You've got a psychic connection with someone. You could be thinking about a partnership right now. You could be thinking about legalities as well. You could be thinking about, um, contracts, negotiations, divorce decrees, all of that. Definitely picking that up. Business partnerships, romantic partnerships, legalities, fairness. Something about this is definitely coming up. And it is, you're having, I don't feel you're having a discussion with this person that you've got the problem with. Some of you may be, but for others of you out there, you're talking to a friend about this or a friend is talking to you about this. It could be a Libran. All right, Gemini, that is what I'm getting. You might be assisting a Libran relative to their love life and uh, helping them with information or giving them guidance or giving them information relative to someone in their life is what I'm seeing. So what do we got going on for the beautiful Librans? Librans, what do we got going on with you? Librans, what's going on with the love life, Librans? Librans for love, you've got fear. That's what's going on. Librans, you are fearful of someone in your life. who I feel you know is very powerful. This person is psychic and this person creates energy around them and abundance around them in manners that you did not think were possible. You're looking at this person as a very, very powerful person. It scares you. It puts fear in you. For some of you Librans, you just got out of a divorce 
and now you're interested in someone else, but you're realizing how powerful they are, how confident they are, how, you know, like it's almost like a healthy narcissism or it's a healthy selfishness. It's almost like for a lot of you Librans out there, you've seen people who are narcissistic and you've seen people that get trampled on because they're weak, right? This person is different. This person has found the perfect combination between the two. They're loving and they're giving, but they're also very confident, very powerful in their own right. Now, Librans, this could be you that's very powerful in your own right relative to this as well. Um, some of you Librans are just fearful. You don't want to make a mistake. You don't want to, you don't want to let somebody in because you're scared that they could start creating havoc and chaos in your life and, and making it more difficult. For some of you out there, you're afraid that someone that you're very interested in, it could be a fire sign, it could be um, an earth sign, it could be someone who's psychic right? This person that you're, it could even be a Gemini, but this person that you're interested in, you're fearful that someone's going to find out about it, or you're fearful that um, someone is going to ruin it, like maybe an ex, or maybe it's some sort of interfering group of people. It's like you're afraid that this person won't be able to handle the energy, now, I will tell you this, Libra, if, if this person is making any sense to you and this and you have this person in your life right now. And you're identifying with this do not underestimate them. They are stronger than you can even possibly imagine. And I'm not saying that you're not strong Librans. I mean, I know a lot of Librans out there have been through some crap and they just keep on ticking. Right. But whoever this person is. And if it resonates with you and you love this person, you have caring feelings for this person. It could be a friend. It could be a lover. It could be a family member, whatever it is. They are far stronger than you can even imagine. So if you're worried about a social group, you're worried about an ex, you're worried about manipulation, coercion, lies, deceit, you're worried about any of that, this person that you're associating with is beyond all of that, all right? They don't dwell in that. They can't dwell in that. Now that's, that's the operative word here. They can't dwell in it because they are psychic. They understand spirituality. They understand karma. They cannot be part of karma. They cannot cause negative energy. They must be very, very balanced. I am sensing for a lot of you Librans out here, you want to move forward with this person, but you're fearful that you're going to repeat past mistakes. That won't happen with this person. It just won't. And for those of you out there that want to take a break and you don't want to move forward with a relationship, that's your choice. Don't do it. If you don't feel comfortable, don't do it. It's, it's, it's not a big deal. If you're not ready, you're not ready. People should not judge you, Librans, because you're not ready. People should not judge you because you, maybe you need more time, you know? Or you should not judge people because they need more time or they need more, um, you know, more space. All right. So that's just what I'm picking up for you, Librans. I hope that made sense for you. Um, also, for some of you Librans out there, um, you are fearful of someone's health for some reason, like their health may not be doing so well. It could be their mental health or it could be their physical health. But I just want to make you guys aware of that. OK. All right, guys, we're going to get right into the water signs. Water signs, what have we got going on for you? Beautiful, beautiful water signs. What is your clarifying energy, your additional energy for the month? I'm sorry, for the week. For some of you, this might be the month. But for the week, 
water signs. Upcoming week for water signs. First card is appreciation. Your second card is adjacent possibilities. Wow. Oh, right. Uh, water signs. Um, Water signs, there is someone around you. This could be a work colleague. This could be a romantic person, whatever. But there is somebody around you that really appreciates the fact that you stand your ground without getting into the drama. So if you are getting into the drama, water sign, you need to stop. You need to stop, okay? You need to take a step back. You need to put yourself in other people's shoes. And you need to start looking at things a little bit more objectively. Okay, don't take anything personally, water sign. And please make sure that you don't judge someone else and um, make sure that you don't take it personally and they don't take it personally. All right, so just kind of be aware of that. If someone takes it personally, this is your opportunity to take a step back and go, let me review this. Let me review my, my position in this particular situation. But what I'm sensing for the majority of you is that there is great appreciation from someone towards you or from you towards someone who has nurtured you, loved you, or you have nurtured or you have loved, who has been through a massive, massive, um, tumultuous and traumatic type of experience. Absolutely. For others of you out there, there could be something going on relative to needing to look at a way that you can change the energy around you into more appreciation. Look at other ways to approach a topic, a situation, a love situation, an argument, a disagreement. Look at the adjacent possibilities. There are other possibilities out there. There's other ways you can approach a situation. You can approach a project. You can approach a discussion. There is a way for you to bring calm and peace, or there is a way for someone else to bring calm and peace into your life through looking at other ways to approach a topic. Now, there is something regarding on a, on a trivial and mundane level, for some of you water signs, doors are going to be of great significance for you. These are doors to the future. These are doors to the past. These are physical doors, physical doors in your home. Maybe you have a door that's just not closing. It's completely dysfunctional. And it's like you want to get rid of this door. Or you're looking at your home and saying, I want to replace this door. Do I replace the door? Do I not replace the door? Maybe I should think about replacing the door. Maybe I can use the hardware. You know, you're going through this, this very, very interesting uh, energy of walking through a door of some sort, either on a physical level, a mental level, or on a spiritual level. This, uh, this particular uh, endeavor may have something to do with partnerships. For some of you water signs, you may be really appreciating someone a lot, but they don't match with what your views are. And you're considering it may be time for me to go. I appreciate them. I love them. But I just don't know if I can stay because we don't match in our thought processes. Uh, for some of you out there, this is something where maybe you're looking at, well, maybe, maybe, uh, Maybe we can be acquaintances or maybe we can work together, but we don't have to go out and party together after work. You know, you're looking at other ways that you can handle a disappointment is what I'm getting. So that is coming up for a lot of you water signs out there. So Pisces, what's going on with you relative to your love energy? Pisces, what's going on with you? Pisces. Love energy for Pisces, separation. All right, Pisces, there is definitely something coming up here regarding a separation. 
there could be, I am sensing for some Pisces out there that there is um, a legal separation or a divorce that is happening. It could be happening to you, but it could be happening around you as well. Uh, for other Pisces out there, there has been a separation. Someone you love is not with you right now. They're not in your vicinity. They're in another town and you miss them, all right? Or they miss you. For others of you out there, you are going to have someone that says, I miss you. You are going to have someone in your life that says, look, I'm, I've been through a lot. I've gone through this divorce or I'm going through this divorce. I'm still skittish. I am still fearful. I am still trying to figure out what I really want. And I know I like you. I know I adore you. I don't want to lose you. I just need time. All right. I really appreciate you. I just need time. I just need time. I need time alone. I need time to think about things. I need time to um, address things in my life, figure things out, maybe get rid of some negative people. I need time to get rid of these negative people. I don't want to bring you into dysfunction. I want to bring you into happiness and joy. Okay. That is what I am picking up for some of the Pisceans out there. So what do we have going on as it relates to the beautiful Cancerians? Cancerians, what do we got going on with you? Cancers, what have we got? Cancer love energy is self-value. All right, Cancers, you're asking for someone to have a little bit more self-value or someone is asking you to have a little bit more self-value. This is energy that comes up when you're downplaying your, your achievements, you're downplaying your uh, accomplishments, and someone says, what are you talking about? You're amazing. You're fabulous. Why are you worried about this? Keep going. You can do this. You'll achieve your goals. All right. This is a loved one saying this to you. This is you saying this to a loved one. This is something about having self-value that maybe perhaps for some of you Cancerians out there that you know, your health isn't the way you want it to be, or you don't feel comfortable in your own skin. You're taking steps. You're looking at possibilities in order to bring in more appreciation for yourself, more appreciation from others. For others of you out there, you're saying to yourself, I'm not staying in this relationship because I deserve self-value. I value myself. Why am I subjecting myself to this pain? I don't need this in my life anymore. I am going to respectfully disengage from this particular conversation or from this particular person or group of people. All right. So that is what I am getting for the beautiful Cancerians. So what do we got going on for the beautiful Scorpios? Scorpios, what do we got for you? Gemini. All right, Scorpios, um, you do have someone in your life. They are likely a Gemini person that you are in love with. Um, remember, this is the love reading, so you can be Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, or Jupiter. Um, so this is someone that you love talking to them. You love communicating with them. You can't get enough of them or they can't get enough of you. It does appear it goes in spurts, okay? Because sometimes, you know, being a Gemini rising, oh yeah, I can like totally, you know, talk for hours on end about things I'm passionate about. And I will be on the phone with someone texting for like two hours straight, right? It doesn't happen a lot, but m more often than not, I'm just kind of like, Boop, you know, just a small little statement. But man, when I get passionate about stuff or when I'm trying to explain things, I can get very verbose. I can get very into it. All right, so this could be going on with some of you Scorpios out there. You're interested in a Gemini. Gemini is interested in you. You're looking at ways to bring this Gemini person in your life to create the change that you want to create. You're looking at ways to say or to do things where it's like, I want this Gemini person in my life. There are other people in my life that could cause problems if I bring this Gemini person into my life. I have to find ways to be part of this Gemini person's life without causing a lot of chaos or a lot of drama. 
This could be something as simple as maybe you're going through a divorce and you only invite this Gemini person over when the kids are not around or when your ex is out of town or maybe at a different location. Because for some reason, I'm sensing for some of you Scorpios out there, it's like you want to talk to somebody, but someone else is causing issues uh, in your love life for whatever reason. Oh, it could be this Gemini person that's causing issues in your life. Absolutely. It could be an earth sign. It could be a fire sign. You could be divorcing a Gemini. A Gemini could be divorcing you. You could be divorcing a fire sign or an earth sign and you're interested in a Gemini. You could, tr you may be thinking of savvy ways to approach this Gemini or this Gemini might be thinking of savvy ways to approach you, to show appreciation for you, to look at different ways to embark on a relationship. For some of you, a Gemini is going through health issues, I just heard. Stress, depression, um, lies, deceit. Now, you could be going through this as well, Scorpio, but I'm definitely getting this, you know, both ways. Remember, these readings go both ways. But you're very appreciative of this Gemini because they looked at something from a different perspective or this Gemini is really appreciative of you because you looked at something from a different perspective in order to bring more stability and more progressiveness into your life after pain, difficulty, and heartache. That is what I am picking up here. So let's move into the beautiful fire signs. What's going on with the beautiful fire signs for this week? Fire signs, what is going on with you? Fire signs. What is your clarifying energy or additional energy, fire signs? Your first card, fire signs, is journey. And your second card is indecision. All right, fire signs. Yeah, I definitely feel what's going on here. Uh, fire signs, something is happening relative to a small disagreement or a small... Um, mm, a small difference of opinion. All right, there's like this small difference of opinion. And to you, it might be a big difference in opinion. Maybe to somebody else, it's really small, but to you, it's a pretty large thing. It's a pretty big deal, right? So so you're like, well, this is a really big deal to me. And, and this is a big part of who I am. And I need to be surrounded by people that really support me in these particular types of you know, um, mindsets or, or, or thought patterns. Okay. So this is coming up, but what's happening here is that you're deciding whether or not you want to do something regarding travel plans, whether you want to go on a journey with someone, whether or not you want to invite them, whether or not they want to invite you. You don't know if you really want to move forward with this. You don't know if you want to move, um, in a certain direction with a certain person. And it's almost like the signs are warning you. The signs are warning you and they're saying, look, you might have a great friendship with this person. You might have a great, you know, intimate relationship with this person. However, this person may not be the person you want to marry. This person may not be the person that is going to really support you in your endeavors in the manner of which you would like to be supported. So this is definitely what I am picking up here. This could be in work. This could be in finance. This could be in spirituality. This could be in love. Definitely coming up here. For some of you out there, it's almost like you were on this trip. You're flying back someplace or you're flying to see someone. And then you get there and it's a disappointment. Or there's something, of an aspect of it that's a bit of a disappointment. Um, which is leading you into this a little bit of an indecision. There's something about crossing bridges or building bridges. And for some of you, there could even be, you know, burning bridges, all right? Could absolutely be happening here relative to partnership, relative to power, relative to control. I am seeing something here.
I'm hearing the words, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you want to do this? Now, this is going to be coming from your internal compass. Are you sure you want to do this? Or maybe from, maybe from, um, you know, your higher self or your guides. Are you sure you want to do this? This could be embarking on a conversation that doesn't serve you. This could be, um, you know, doing something that, you know, maybe in hindsight was a bad idea. But just be aware of that particular type of energy. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on as it relates to the love energy for the beautiful Aries. What's going on with the Aries? Guys, please remember that my weekly readings are very long because I literally have one... 5, 17 readings in one. Okay, so I will put timestamps. So just be aware of that. Aries, what's going on with you? Love life for the Aries. What have we got? Secrets. All right, Aries, there could be, um, there could be something going on with a Scorpio person in your life relative to secrets. I think Scorpios are the ones that had the secret card. You may want to listen to the Scorpio love reading as well because it may um, apply to you as well. So as it relates to secrets, uh, Aries, there is something regarding secrets. There is something regarding the, the dissolution of a secret. So a secret is going to get exposed. It could get exposed while someone is on a trip. Or the secret could be the trip itself, Aries. Definitely. The secret has something to do with someone making a deal with someone else in another state, in another region, in another town, whatever it is. And that deal was illegal or it was fraudulent. And now someone has to make a decision. That's what I'm getting. I feel it's more work-related, actually, Aries, than it is love-related. But for some of you Aries out there relative to love, there could be something going on here for especially the single Aries out there. You want to go on a trip with someone. Someone wants to go on a trip with you. But you don't know if you really want to do this. It's almost like you're kind of one foot in, one foot out. Okay. That is definitely what I'm picking up here. Some of you Aries are going to cancel a trip. Absolutely. Somebody's true colors are coming out or you realize someone was trying to manipulate you through trips and travel and journeys and all of this. And it's like you realize someone's been manipulating you this whole time. And you're like, you know what? I can do it on my own. Thank you so much for your assistance or thank you for your help, but I'm going to do this. I'll find where I want to go. I don't need your help. I don't need your timeshare. I don't, because what's happening is they're just keeping you stuck in, in, um, uh, making you dependent on them. Now, Aries, you could be doing this to someone or someone could be doing this to you, but this is definitely what I'm picking up here, but there are secrets in the love life of the Aries out there. These could be secrets you're sharing with a loved one as well about something regarding a journey or something regarding someone not able, not being able to make a decision with something. Okay, so what do we've got going on for the beautiful Leos? Leos, what do we got going on with your love, Leos? Scorpio, all right. Leos, there is a Scorpio person that is of great significance in your life. You might be talking about a divorce. You might be talking about the fact that you can't make a decision. You might be talking about, um, you know, I just don't know what I want. I, I want to go. I want to embark on this journey. I, I want to do this with this person. I want to have a relationship with this person. I just don't know why I can't make a decision regarding this person. And this Scorpio is like, look. You don't have to make a decision right now. But what you do have to do is you have to nurture the relationship. You have to be part of the relationship. 
you can't give just give up on the relationship because you don't know if you want to be in the this person to be in your life or for you to be in this person's life you have to be able to allow for the opportunity to have fun to be part of one another's life to you know see where it goes you know so i feel for a lot of you leos out there a scorpio could be telling you this or leo you could be telling a scorpio this but this is definitely what i'm feeling it might be something related to travel or indecision regarding to travel um it like i said could be something related to divorce as well lies deceit pain agony um disappointment all of that okay for some of you leos out there you are in love with a scorpio but you don't know you don't know how to approach this you don't know how to um navigate around the discussion is what i'm hearing for others of you out there um Wow, uh, 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 Leo's, someone was really, really hurt. Someone was really, really hurt. It may have been you, but I feel it's, it's someone outside of you. Like they are really, really, I mean, they have got a significant wound relative to a physical wound or relative to an emotional wound right now, Leo's. There could be a Scorpio Leo's that you're trying to make a decision about, or someone around you is trying to make a decision about a Scorpio relative to some sort of loss, some sort of pain, some sort of illness, and you don't know what this decision will be. So someone needs to make a decision regarding some sort of illness, some sort of pain, hospitalization, something like that. You may need to make a journey because of this. For some of you Leos out there. Other Leos don't know if you want to take a new job. That's definitely coming up as well. You don't know if you want to be, um, you don't know if you want to go back to work, I just heard, or you don't know if you want to take a job that somebody is offering you. That is what I'm picking up, Leos. So what do we have going on? And this could be, yep, absolutely, that's what's happening. Because you may have to move for the job and you don't know if you're all up into that at all. So what do we have going on for the beautiful Sages? Sag, what's going on with you? Sag love, what have we got? Leo, wow, all right, Sages. Sagittarians, now you have a Leo person uh, in your life. And definitely with this King of Wands, that definitely could be them. So Sag is, if there is a Leo person, it's almost like they're looking at the money is what I'm seeing here. They're looking at the money and how they can manipulate you through money for some of you Sages, or for some of your Sages, you're trying to see how you can manipulate someone else through money or manipulate someone else through um, nurturing and comfort and kindness and, and all of that. But they are such a strong person and they've been guided down the rose colored path so many different times that that they are unlikely to change their mind sages this could be a leo this could be another of the fire signs or an earth sign for some of you sages out there you are traveling to see a leo person or a leo person could be causing um, a little bit of interference or a little bit of um, some problems in your current life, in your current way of being, in your current, you know, domestic setup. Or you could be causing a problem for a Leo, Sagittarians. That is just what is coming up here. But there is, I mean, when you've got Leo and then you've got you know, the three of swords, the Leo is all about the heart, the big heart, the leadership, the, the pride, you know, the, the, the loving energy of the Leos. And then you've got the three of swords in this reading. So I feel for some Sagittarians, 
a Leo person or an earth sign person or another fire sign person is causing a lot of drama in your life or you are causing drama for this other person. It could have something to do with heart issues as well. So Sagittarius, just please be aware that there are issues relative to um, lying, deceit, disappointment, pain, um, blockages, separation, indecision relative to a Leo person, okay? It doesn't mean that it's all that bad. It simply means that that's the energy that you're dealing with right now, okay? It could be a child, could be an adult, could be a family member, could be a friend, could be a lover, all right? Okay, guys, I hope you liked this weekly reading. I do wish you the best. I uh, hope you like uh, the fact that I went back to my old camera. I do wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.